Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today, I decided to only eat fruit. We're starting off the day with some frozen cherries and also some frozen mango. Next, I ate a small melon. For a snack, I had two fruit leathers and an apple. I also had three bananas and two more fruit leathers. This was the last thing I ate today, and I was only able to eat half of it. Okay, so it's towards the end of the night, and I am not even joking, I do not feel good at all. I, I don't even know what I'm feeling right now, like I cannot put it into words. So all day long, I felt pretty good up until about 2 or 3 o'clock. You know, I had a lot of energy, I felt great, everything was good. Then I started to get like extremely hungry, and I just, I kept trying to eat things to like satisfy the hunger and it never did like just barely i was trying to eat a cantaloupe and i got through half of it i just was sitting there eating it and i was like if i take another bite i'm going to throw up but i want to because i'm starving and i need something in my stomach it feels like i haven't eaten anything like all day long i didn't hit my calories which i'll get into in a second i started inputting them and as you can see, like I didn't hit my targets. Like I didn't come close to how many calories I'm supposed to eat in a day. That's probably why I'm so hungry. But the thing is, I don't know if I can physically eat anymore. Like I'm being so dead serious. Like I am like so close to giving up because I'm so hungry and hangry and I just want some freaking food. All day long, I've just been craving rice. Like I just like rice and bread sounds so good right now. My mom was making some homemade bread, like some crescent rolls, and oh, it took all my willpower not to eat that. Like, they look so good. I like to do challenges like this because I like to see myself if it works and just kind of experiment and see how my body feels and my body is saying you need more than just fruit it's not gonna fill you up enough but I will say this in the beginning of the day when I did it I had a lot of energy I felt fantastic but once that hunger kicks in it's just downhill from there but I mean I I could see myself eating fruit for half the day and feeling amazing and then once my hunger starts to kick in then I'll start implementing like nuts and seeds and potatoes and rice and things that are more filling and satisfying because fruit is not satisfying at all. I was planning on doing this longer, like doing a three day and then trying to go for a week to see how I felt, but I mean like I couldn't even make it a day. So I'm literally gonna go to bed early tonight because I have no energy and I'm tired and I'm hungry. And it's like my body's crashing because I don't have all the calories and nutrients that I need. So like I'm going to bed and then I'm eating tomorrow. Okay, so it's actually a few days later, but I just wanted to come on here and put in a few side notes because I feel like I kind of just ended it too quickly. I'm not gonna lie, like I just wanted to get it over with so that I could go to sleep because I was so tired. And because it sucked so bad, I was just like, I'm over this, I don't wanna do it anymore. This challenge sucks, it didn't work. Here's the thing, 
kind of did. The main reason that I did this challenge is because I wanted to feel a lot lighter. I have less energy, I haven't been sleeping as well. My mental clarity is just kind of not there. I don't really know how to explain it, but all I can say is just something's off, you know? Like you know when something's off and you're just like, I don't know what it is, but it's messing with me and it's annoying and I want it fixed. So this is part of the reason why I did this challenge is because I kind of wanted it to help with my fatigue. For the first half of the day, it actually did help a lot. I had so much energy, my brain fog was gone. I was so productive, like I was just like, I'm ready, hit me with anything. But then, you know, obviously I got hungry and I crashed and then it was just downhill from there, which I've already said. But here's the thing. I think I noticed the most benefits the next day. I wasn't able to eat until around 10 or 11, which isn't bad, but I mean like I was miserable until then and I woke up at like seven. So for three or four hours, I was just like, why did I do that? But then after I was able to eat and get some food in me, bro, I felt good. It's like my mental clarity came back and it's not because I ate the food, it's because of the fruit because most of the time when I eat food I actually feel sluggish after like I'm just like I'm ready for a nap this time I ate the food and I was just like oh, I felt so freaking good I had so much energy I had mental clarity again and the best part of this whole challenge was my bloating was cut in half now I don't know if you guys struggle with bloating but I do hardcore I will look at a crumb and I get bloated I will eat hardly anything, I'm bloated. I eat a lot, I'm bloated. I don't eat, I'm bloated. I'm just constantly bloated all the time. Now, that was something I was just not really expecting. The feeling of not being bloated is amazing. And the fact that I ate a huge meal and then I wasn't bloated after or for the rest of the day, that's a miracle right there. Because of all that, because I felt amazing, because I wasn't bloated, because I had mental clarity, because I had more energy, I kinda wanna do it again. So, I think I'm gonna do it again. But this time around, I definitely wanna do it differently. I, I don't think I can just eat fruit and survive the day. Like, that sounds awful and terrible to me. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to eat fruit for as long as I possibly can. And then once I start feeling that hunger, before I hit that crash, I'm gonna eat some vegetables with some oil because there's more calories in that, or some nuts or seeds. I think that will go a long way and I won't eat a lot of them, just enough to just get me through the day and I won't hit that crash, you know? And I'm really interested on how that works. Like, will I feel worse? Will I feel better? Will it be the same? Like. I don't know, we'll find out. Also, sorry for my hair, it's like extremely oily because I put oil on my face for my burn and um, then I kept touching my hair and I'm still touching my hair so it's like... I wanted to come on here and say, even though I gave it such a bad rap in the last video, just know that I was extremely hungry and I was extremely tired. But even though I went through that and it kind of sucked, in the end, like, Basically what I'm saying is even though I was hungry, the benefits outweigh the bad and it's worth it. It's been two days since I've done the challenge, but they're still kind of lingering. I'm not going to lie. Like I still have this energy that I haven't had in a long time. And the fact that I can feel it several days after, like that says a lot. And that makes me want to do more of this. Yeah, that was just my little side note. The less angry, hungry, tired me. Okay, back to the video. I really like doing challenges, so if you have any ones that you want me to do, uh, put them down below in the comments and I'll try to get to them if I can. All right, love you guys, bye.